Professional wrestlers have this image of being a big, strong, angry looking sweaty man that you don't want to mess with or piss off because if you do, they'll break you in half and eat you for breakfast. The idea of showing vulnerability and shedding tears is hysterical to them. But at least that's what you would assume when you see them on TV. You look at the muscles and instantly think they don't cry or get emotional like we mortals do. But that's far from the truth, in fact, they're like big teddy bears. And they do not hide their emotions because guess what? They are humans and they have feelings too, shocking I know. It's very inspirational to see these big men cry in front of the camera, it's okay to cry when you want to, you know? So now let's share the lights on the moments when wrestlers get super emotional and cried and made us cry too. I'm Emma H and let's ring them. Number 10. Vince McMahon remembering his dad. Vince probably hates tears. From hearing and reading all the stories about Vince's weird pet peeves and the random things he despises, I have a feeling that he hates nothing more than crying. I assume he finds it a weakness, just like how he hates sneezing. He always tries to avoid being cut crying on camera. Like how he ordered the camera crew to cut the tape when he was getting emotional talking about The Undertaker in his documentary. But he did shed tears and he was very emotional when he was talking about his father in the true story of WrestleMania DVD. During his segment, he expressed how much he loved and how much he misses him, and you can tell he was very genuine. It's refreshing to see this more human side of Vince, and how he wasn't afraid to show that on the DVD. Number 9. Xavier Woods' Emotional Celebration Wrestling is truly beautiful. It's real. It's absolutely real. It's real because these guys you see on TV really paid their dues. It wasn't a night and day to get to this point, it wasn't one year of training and you make it big. It takes years and even decades to get the chance you worked hard for all your life. The chance that you've been seeking and dreaming of since the day you decided you wanted to be a wrestler. Every wrestler has a different tale, some had it better than the other, but it wasn't an easy road. Seeing Kofi Kingston win the WWE title was an inspiring and emotional tale that hard work pays off. But seeing Xavier Woods just lose and cry while he's hugging his friend was one of the most genuine things that you can ever see because you can feel and understand what he's feeling. It made the whole thing even more important and emotional. It was a happy ending for sure. Number 8. Braun Strowman Emotional Meeting with His Fan We often take WWE Superstars influence for granted. They have a lot of impact on the lives of different kinds of people who are dealing with an illness or disease and how these people look up to them and they are inspired by these larger than life characters they see on TV and their battles with their illnesses. It's a great reason why you as a performer love what you do for a living. It's that realization of your profession impacting people's life that left Braun Strowman in tears. This is when he met his biggest fan Ryan in 2018 through Make-A-Wish. Ryan has a genetic disorder and had undergone a brain surgery the year prior. Ryan's mom credits Braun for helping him through and how his love for him was cheering him up. It was a beautiful and genuine moment and you can see how Braun was really moved through this encounter. It must have meant a lot to him. Number 7. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn Celebration Friendship is a beautiful thing, huh? True friendship by that I mean. An example of true friendship is Zayn and Owens' relationship that dates back to 2002. The two basically met at the start of their career, and they had chemistry right away. Two young wrestlers from Quebec trying to make it in the business. They traveled together, worked in the same places, wrestled each other multiple times, grew up in the business together, and the two made it big together by signing with WWE. It was a tremendous journey they had, and to see that journey which is a beautiful climax of the world title victory proved that the 15 long years of grinding was all worth it. It wasn't just Kevin Owens win, it was both men's win. They did this, it's theirs. That phrase is very moving and very beautifully said. They know how much this means to them. That warm hug describes everything. Number 6. Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero WrestleMania moment. It's another two friends celebrating reaching what it feels like the pinnacle of their wrestling career after years and years of ups and downs. These two had it worse for sure. The two met in Japan and they immediately bonded. Benoit and Eddie were two of the most acclaimed performers at that time. They had a great chemistry inside the ring but mostly outside the ring. They've wrestled each other over the world, having great matches every time. But despite the tremendous talent that the two had, they've been told thousands of times they will never go far in this business, and they'll never gonna make it big because they are small, or how the term goes, they're vanilla midget. The wrestling business was way different back then. These two guys were never taken seriously, but things thankfully changed. Eddie won the WWE title in 2004, and Benoit won the Royal Rumble and main event at WrestleMania and ended up winning the World Heavyweight title the same year. 
The two got to celebrate their individual achievements at the end of the biggest show of the year, the same show that closed with Hogan body slamming Andre in 87. These two quote unquote small guys finally made it. The two hugged and it's hard to fight the tears. This was a moment that made everything worth it. It's very depressing now looking back to it, honestly. Number 5. Kane Cries Seeing someone that you've least expected to cry on camera, someone who portrays a big monster on TV that the base of his character is being scary and devoid of any human emotions, does make you cry as well. It's contagious in this case, because it's surprising to see, and if it breaks someone like him, it means a lot, and it will probably break you as well. And Kane, according to a lot of stories that has been said, is one of the nicest guys ever, so when he got emotional, it doesn't get more genuine than that. To give you the context of the reason of why he was crying in this network exclusive, he met a woman and she showed him a picture of her son and Kane when he came to visit him in the hospital a few months prior, and it was the last picture she ever took of her son, so she wanted to thank him for making the son's last wish come true. Watching him tell the story, trying his heart to hold it together and fight the tears, and exactly how his voice drops when he said it was the last picture, and because it's rare to see him in this position, you find yourself getting emotional in the moments as well. You just want to give him a hug. And by the end, your admiration for this guy grows through the roof. Number 4. Seth Rollins cries for Roman. When Roman Reigns came on Raw in 2018 and announced that he has leukemia and that he's relinquishing the WWE title to get treatment, it caught the whole crowd off guard. It was too big of a surprise that by the end of his speech, no one was booing him and everyone was clapping for him and cheering his name. The fans in attendance were genuinely sad and some were even crying. This is not a wrestling angle, this is real life and it's heartbreaking. Even the wrestlers in the back were caught off guard as well by the news, including Roman's close friend and Shield's partner Seth Rollins, who along with Dean Ambrose came to the ring as Roman Reigns was about to exit. Rollins was visibly emotional as he came down. He couldn't hold it together. The three Shield members hugged it out and when they did the trademark fist bump, Seth was bawling his eyes out. The shocking news affected him big time. He just found out that his friend has a serious disease and that his life is in danger. It's not an easy thing to handle and he couldn't hide his tears. And when he was crying, you can't help but cry as well. Number 3. John Cena getting emotional. Cena is one of the nicest guys on this planet. The guy has done a lot of charity works and his contribution with Make-A-Wish is legendary. He's also notorious for turning down events and other must-dos to see his fans. He's all around a very positive and genuinely thoughtful guy. He's an inspiring figure as well, which from this video you can tell he's been taking that for granted, probably because of how much important role he plays in a lot of people's lives. He was surprised by his fans in his Cricket Wireless commercial whose lives he has impacted. He was reading these fans' letters in which they discuss difficult times in their lives, each sadder than the other and how they overcome these difficulties by never giving up, and thanked Cena for saving their lives. Cena was already caught off guard by these moving stories, but when he reacted to a powerful video Kid has sent, he was really shocked up. That kid got to meet his hero and the two embraced, which would make you boil as well. And then he met the other fans and he just couldn't hold it anymore. Number 2. Mark Henry reads his poem. Oh god, this is really hard. The passing of Owen Hart is one of the biggest tragedies in wrestling history. It was horrific the way he died. He was the soul of the locker room and everyone was deeply affected by his death. The raw after the terrible event was declared as a tribute for the life and death of the King of Hearts. The episode started heavy with the whole roster surrounding the arena as Howard Finkel asked the crowd to rise to pay respect for Owen Hart as they told the bell 10 times and you can already see how many wrestlers were crying. Then later in the episode we saw various segments of wrestlers paying tribute and sharing fun memories with Owen as they were tearing up. They were all genuinely moving, but that Mark Henry segment where he read a poem dedicated to his friend Owen Hart, man, it was too powerful to watch again. That was a heartfelt moment, it was real deep and sad. Mark is a big guy and to see him cry like that, that was unreal and unexpected to watch. You can tell how much he really meant to him and that he loved someone he loved so much. The poem was really beautiful man, he put his heart into it. Number 1. Multiple wrestlers cry for Eddie. Much like Owen Hart, when Eddie died, the WWE locker room was sweeping. The entire wrestling community was depressed, it was a dark day for the wrestling industry. And much like Owen, there was a Raw Tribute episode dedicated to his life. It was a heavy night to say the least. Seeing the sad look on the faces of the wrestlers tells how much Eddie meant to them. And when they showed the video package that highlights Eddie's career, they were all crying. Kurt Angle, Booker T and Charmel, Big Show, Chavo, D Malenko, JBL, they were all in tears. And when it came down to the individual segments, 
it was a whole nother level of sadness. But you can tell that Chris Benoit was affected the most by this loss. It was hard to watch. We've never seen him in the state before, he was a broken man that night. And knowing what happened two years later makes this even way more depressing. And that's it, we're done. It's not the best way to end this video, but thankfully it's over. Hope you guys liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe and comment as usual. Thank you for watching, I'm MH and I'll see you soon. Tschüss.